Good morning, bitches. That's not really a nice way to start this vlog, is it? Good morning, everybody. So I'm currently looking like, I don't know. I feel like I look just really weird when I put up a bun, but I haven't washed my hair yet, which sounds really gross. I'm actually going to the hair salon right now because I'm gonna get a little trim and just cut some of that split end off because I haven't gotten a trim since my hair dye disaster. So this is a brand new hair salon. I've never been here before and I'm really, really excited to go because apparently it's really bougie. And girl, I do not live a bougie life. <laughs> So if I can experience bougie for a day, you know, that's cool me. Other than just getting my hair cut today, I'm actually going to be going into town. I want to go to like Lush, Primark. I want to go through the mall. Have like a really girly shopping day. So I'm just going to bring you guys with me because I want to. What you going to do about that? Hmm? I mean, you could click off the video, but don't. Don't. And I'm being weird and I don't have enough time to do this because I literally got to leave in like three minutes. I'm actually going to be late. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I'm going to be dyeing my hair back to black, bitch. I am just so done with this reddish, orangey, whatever the f*** it is, color. I just don't like it. So I can't really afford right now to go to a hair salon again and pay another 200 pounds for I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to wait until like I see my mom again and then she'll do it for me. It's just getting sent through Amazon, so this might be like a two or three day vlog. It's really cold outside right now. And it looks like it's gonna rain, but the weather forecast doesn't say it's gonna rain. But because I live in England, you always bring your umbrella. And I got this really cute umbrella from Primark, and it's see-through, and it's so cute. So I'm gonna bring that with me. I don't know why I aggressively checked it. Okay, I'm gonna put on my jacket, and let's go to the hair salon. Okay, so I'm almost there. It's actually really hot outside. Everyone else is wearing t-shirts, shorts, and I'm outside with a freaking umbrella and a leather jacket. So I just... I look crazy. Is this it? I think there it is. Okay, so I just got out of the salon. Look at how nice. Why is it that I always look this good when you go out of the salon, but then once I'm at home, I'll never be able to do this again. And they were so lovely. Like, usually I have the hardest time talking to hairdressers. Like, usually I don't really vibe with people, but that hairdresser was so sweet. Like, I I feel like I found my new hair salon, so girl, I'm gonna be going there again. Oh, there's a lot of people here today. Where am I? You know what I kind of feel like right now? A dumb, dumb, dumb. There were too many people in there, man. I didn't feel comfortable vlogging. I was smelling everything and lifting up everything. Now look at my hand. It's like a really gross pink color. Ugh. And my shirt. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just pop into Tiger really quick because I haven't been in the store for so long. So, uh, here I go. I'm actually on the hunt for espresso cups. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Whenever you come in here, you don't know what you're looking for. You just get something. I don't understand. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna try to be as not obvious as possible with those guys here. Now in home sense. Where are the espresso cups? I need an adult. I don't know where the expresses are. When my phone has no signal, that's so perfect. Oh, they don't have it. No! No! Oh! Oh, is it going to me in? Can I zoom in like that? Whoa! I've been home for quite a while. I've literally just been finishing editing this vlog that's going up. Um. Oh no, did I just do that right now? How did I do that? I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I bought when I was out. I didn't actually buy as much as I thought I would. Like, I thought I was gonna go crazy, especially when I went to Primark, but I didn't even buy anything at Primark. Also, I changed out of my black shirt because I was sweating. Like, and that's probably TMI. So yeah, I'm gonna show you quickly what I bought. This is probably my favorite purchase. Voila! Look at that! Oh, don't mind that mark. <laughs> Look at that! This is so cute. I'm so excited. It comes with like this cute little stand as well. I got this from HomeSense. Picked up this coffee. As you can tell, like I'm just really obsessed with coffee right now. I mean, who isn't? So no more instant coffee, bitch. I'm on that whole ground coffee grind. I actually just got this because I like the bird. So hopefully it tastes good. And then I got this, which is Kenya. I've never had Kenyan coffee before. So I'm really, really excited to try that. And then I went to Lush 
and I just picked myself up two bath bombs, which I don't know why because bitch, I'm probably not gonna take a bath in this heat. I got the Rose Jam Bubble Room. Reminds me of like a macaroon, but I just think this is so pretty and it smells so good. Like this makes me want to take a bath and I just, oh, it's in my golden hour right now. And then I got this one called Sex Bomb. The lady in the store when I was buying it said this is actually the first bath bomb Lush has ever come out with. So I thought that was really cool. Oh, it smells really good. The description was better used in a pair. And all I could think about was that wouldn't happen because I'm just too selfish. Like I would just want the bath bomb and the bath to myself. I'm just about to make dinner and I am going to show you how to make the quickest, easiest, most delicious pasta I've ever had in my entire life. Watch how quick this is. Take your zucchini, cut them into little pieces, even tinier pieces. Put it in the pan with some olive oil. So keep doing this until it becomes like mush you see like how it's already starting here oh no the secret to making this taste good is honestly just salt that's it if you add the right amount of salt that is gonna take your cooking from like here to here but you keep needing to like taste it to make sure there's enough salt same with the water keep adding salt in and tasting the water i know it sounds really gross but like you want to make sure the water is perfectly salted that's what i learned when i was in italy and that's it i swear to god that is it just Zucchini, oil, salt, and I swear to God, oh, and Parmesan. It is the best freaking pasta. Trust me, I know you guys are gonna be like, ugh, zucchini and pasta. You will never be saying that again once you try this. So one secret to this though, you need to grab the pasta water, and then we're gonna add it into here. So it comes like a cream. See what I did there? I just made my own cream and then just leave it on here for a little bit so like the water absorbs Let me put you back in there One for you, one for me Then we added the parmigiano Like that, oh yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, that was a lot Let me try It's so good. I'm actually just heading off to the animal sanctuary right now and I'm gonna bring you guys with me because there are like a lot of new animals there and then I'm seeing the Lion King later so it's gonna be quite a packed day. Before I leave the house, I don't have like a full length mirror so I'm just gonna see if this outfit's really, really ugly. <laughs> hey, let's see that ugly mess back. Okay, I think I'm gonna wear this. Got that beautiful British summer weather. Love it. So I'm probably gonna do a voiceover because that'd be kind of weird, so... Excuse me? So if you go for the big pot or just the end pot... Jamaican boa. These guys are actually wild and they've been brought to the UK illegally. And it looks like it's gonna strike at me. Oh, did you see that? He'll be fine. He won't come biting you as long as he's safe. Hey, guys. He looks so mad. This is the guy that blew me. Do you remember this finger, man? <laughs> you remember this finger? This guy has a red sticker by the way. So if they're green, anyone can hold them. If they're yellow, like be cautious. This guy now has a red sticker because of me. I'm just teaching it right now. I'm not feeding it. That's what he looks like when he bit me. That's fine, that's fine. But he wants to, he's going for it. This is exposure therapy, PTSD. Do you want to take him back? Yeah. Uh, we'll wait. Yeah. Is it more of a photo yeah. shoot for you? Just say if you want to move away, I'll move away. Why are you just dropping? I'm going to be someone else. 
Hold on. I did it. I did it. <laughs> what you do about that? What the f man? That was some scary ass. I cannot believe I did that. I wanted to do that though. To prove to you guys that are scared of snakes that they're not actually doing because they want to hurt you. They're just doing their instincts. So that's just like a really defensive snake. And bitch, I was so scared. I was going to go shopping and stuff and do like a cute little haul and do like a cute little girly shopping day. But the weather is so miserable right now. So I think I'm just going to chill at home and then go to Lion King. Oh, I'm pooped out. Come on, man. Wait here for one minute. Let's just jaywalk. Ready? Oh, it's doing it now. I'm not sure if you can hear me because it's really windy. But we're on our way to the Lion King. We're gonna go see it at the marina. We're actually gonna take like these little bikes. Hopefully, I don't regret this decision. We're eating McDonald's when we get there, so it's kind of like we're working off the McDonald's before we go. Look what the Viking did to my hair. <laughs> This is my first time having a McDonald's nugget in like almost a year and a half. Mmm, that's so good. Do you want some? I was just on my way to get a straw and ketchup and this guy over here let out the loudest fart I've ever heard. Is he pecking his butt? The hillbillies? We going in, bitch, we going in, and I'ma go hot. Good morning, guys. So I look a little bit crazy right now because I don't even bother to do my hair or makeup because I'm dyeing my hair this morning. I promised you guys in the beginning of the vlog I was gonna dye my hair. So that's what we gonna do. Oh my god, I look really, really bad. Look at that, look how bad that is. Ooh. I am just over this red color. I love like how light it is. I just I'm too pale <laughs> for this I wish I could suit it, but I just can't so I'm gonna be dyeing my hair back to black Last night I got my package from Amazon and I got actually a couple packages too So I'm gonna open them on camera. I got a delivery from Yes style. This is not sponsored at all by the way They like gifted me a ton of stuff and I'm so excited for what's inside. So this is the hair color I'm gonna be using today. It's Colorant's 5MB. So currently on my hair right now, I'm using 5N mixed with 5B. So I know you guys are probably like, well, isn't 5MB gonna be like just as light? It's actually not, like it's really, really dark. And it's the first color that I used when I was dyeing my hair from blonde to black. So this is like a really beautiful color. Only problem is, I don't know what the hell I was thinking because I only bought one and I just realized like that's not gonna be enough for my whole head, especially because my hair is getting longer. So hopefully this isn't a hair dye gone wrong and this can do the job. I'm gonna cry if it doesn't. So hopefully, I don't know why. I'm gonna buy like three now just for that. But yeah, I wanna open up these little packages. So the first thing I got whoops, was a ton of makeup sponges because I always just use my finger when I'm using my concealer. So I thought it'd be cute to get some sponges. And then I got this cute little egg holder to like go with them. So like when they're wet, like they can just sit on top. Oh my god, that's so cute. Why do I find that so funny? It's probably not even that funny. I got a brown bag. Let me open it up. It's like this cute little faux leather and it has like the little straps inside. Oh, I got lashes. So I got these ones and I think I got another one too. Yeah, I got the red cherry lashes. I know you can get this in the States, but like you can't get it here in the UK. I don't know how I feel about that actually. It looks a lot different than the picture. And... Oh! I got a passport holder, an eyebrow pencil, which I heard really good reviews about. I think it's by Etude. Oh, Tony Moly. I also got some beauty water. I've only used like the drugstore toner, so I'll let you know how that goes on. <gasps> Shut the f up. <laughs> look at that. You know, actually, when I look at this, I don't really like the copper and the yellow. It doesn't really match. It still looks bougie though. <laughs> I just can't believe like I got that. When the fuck am I ever gonna wear that? That's gonna have to be in an Instagram picture. So I'm now gonna dye my hair. I just pray to God that this one little bottle is gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna just get this all prepared, change into like my little 
shirt that I don't care about and then I will be with you in a minute. Yeah, if you guys want to check out their website, I'll link them down below. And a little warning to you guys, if you do get any of these products, they are cheap, but that means the quality is cheap. So just be aware of that because there have been products that they've sent to me that have broke or like they just weren't really in good condition because they were really cheap. I definitely recommend it for like accessories and Korean skincare. It's really, really good. The clothes on the other hand, be aware. Anyways, I am just getting this all prepared. So I put in three parts of the lotion and now I'm going to put in one and a half of the color. The fact that this is green right now is making me really, really uncomfortable. <laughs> I get my widow's peak. It's me from the future. Sorry if I look kind of ratchet. I did my makeup in like less than five minutes but to save the long story short that hair dye did not work and it did not change my hair color whatsoever and it didn't even stick onto my hair it was really weird and then afterwards when I washed it out like it didn't smell like the Goldwell color ons that I'm used to that I've been using for like the past years I don't know it, it just kind of weirds me out like it was possibly a fake that I bought off Amazon even like when I got the package the box was opened and it looked like it was bent and stuff it was really weird so just a word of caution if you guys are dyeing your hair like just be careful of buying it off of amazon because i even checked and the seller was not goldwell it was just a person selling it so like they could have given me anything there weren't even a lot of reviews on the person's thing either so i don't know what i used on my hair but um i actually bought from a trusted supplier and i'm actually going to be doing a different color after that whole scandal i was like i think i'm just gonna dye my hair jet black and just get it over with but i was just looking on google which brought me to pinterest which brought me to this random article of mara tegan which is like a really famous instagram girl and her hair looked so good so i bought the products that this girl named lauren recommended so yeah i'm gonna just experiment with my hair before i go back down to like black because i know once i go black like i'm never gonna go back so i'm gonna be using colorant's 5bp which is a pearly couture oh that sounds fancy brown mid and then i'm gonna be using a 4g which is chestnut so the girl on the website sets recommend these two so lauren it's all lauren's fault if this doesn't look like the picture no i'm joking but i'm not joking okay i'm gonna go mix this and i will be back in a minute round two hey, my life. hey guys do you like my makeup today I got inspired by the Ariana. Uh, I got inspired by Ariana Grande's boyfriend music video, and then I also saw Cindy Kimberly post this on her Instagram. So I was like, "Well, I know what I'm doing today," and I really, 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 really like it. So this is what it looks like. It's still not really what I wanted. Um, it looks a lot better though. I really, really like this level. Like I think it looks really cute, but it still has a lot of redness in it. You guys see? I think I'm gonna leave my hair for the next month because my hair is just gonna be like destroyed. So next month I'm gonna dye it back to black unless you guys can think of any other colors that I should try. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. The next vlog that you're gonna see is gonna be me in Manchester. So that actually happened a couple days before I dyed my hair the second time. Sorry, it's gonna be kind of confusing. So if you're wondering why my hair is like back to normal in the next vlog, that's gonna be why. But anyways, I will see you guys really soon with my next video. Bye!